Next number, we have x all over 8 minus 1 all over 2. x is equal to 3 over 8. So, for this um, kind of rational equation, you do not um, cross multiply right away. Why? Because meron tayong two terms in the left side of the equation which is x over 8 and 1 minus 2x. So you cannot um, directly tell me na ma'am let's just write it as x minus 1 all over 8 minus 2x is equal to 3 over 8 and then we cross multiply. This is totally wrong po. Okay? So if um, you encountered a rational equation that looks like this one o kaya naman you have um, two terms or two rational um, two rational functions on one side of the equation all you have to do is um, get the LCD of the denominator so how are we going to get the LCD in this case since we have parang an algebraic expression all you have to do is just copy the denominators in the given equation and you multiply it to the whole equation so let's say dito we have 8 2x and 8 so since this is just the same all you have to do is write it once so we'll have 8 multiplied by the other algebraic term na 2x ngayon if you'll tell me ma'am Pwedeng i-multiply natin to. Pwede po. You can multiply it as 16x. Pero, um, since we will, um, this LCD will be divided into the denominators and multiplying it to the numerator, it will be much easier if you will retain it as it is. Na you will not simplify it anymore. I-retain nyo lang siya ng ganyan para pag nag-divide, madali tayong makapag-divide. Na, for example, di ba, LCD, Itong LCD, you multiply it to the um, whole equation. Pwedeng 8, 2x, and then multiply it with the numerator. Tapos, tsaka pa lang kayo magdi-divide. Or, the easiest way is you divide first in the denominator, then tsaka tayo magmumultiply sa numerator. So, this one divided by the first denominator, which is 8. So, parang sa scratch paper, this LCD, 8 multiplied by 2x divided by this one. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na no need to multiply or simplify 8 times 2x para madali nyong makita na we should just cancel 8 and yung, the remaining number is the answer or the remaining term is the answer which is 2x. Then, 2x multiplied by the numerator x. You can write it directly na 2x squared or you can write it as 2x times x. It's your choice. Minus. O, next one. We have 2x. So, 8 daw div times 2x divided by 2x. So, we cancel 2x. Ang remaining term natin ay 8 multiplied by the um, numerator na 1. So, let's just directly write it as 8 since 8 times 1 is already 8. And then, next, ito naman. 8 times 2x divided by 8, that is, that is 2x multiplied by the numerator na 3. And then, we simplify the whole equation. So, we will have 2x squared minus 8 is equal to 6x. And then, since we don't have any um, similar terms, ang gagawin nyo na lang is put it on one side of the equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. Ngayon, ma'am, how are we going to solve for the value of x? For this kind of function, dahil quadratic siya, ang choice nyo lang is either mag um, factor kayo or pwede din gamitin yung quadratic equation. Ay, quadratic formula. So, pero, if kaya nyo namang mag factor, edi mag factoring na lang tayo. So, paano yung factoring? Sa factoring, all you have to do is get the factors of the given quadratic equation. So, sa 2x squared, ang factors lang naman niya ay 2x and x. Sa 8, pwedeng 1, tsaka 8, tsaka 2 times 4. So, let's just use 2 and 4. So, let's say 2 dito tapos 4 yung nandiyan. Randomly, I just, I'm just placing it ha. Tapos, since negative yung last term natin, yung sign ng last term natin, the answers should be, uh, or the factors should have 
um, isa positive and then another one ay negative. So, you randomly place positive and negative. So, let's say dito ko ilalagay negative dito yung positive. Then, we'll try to check if um, these factors will give us this quadratic equation. Paano yun mag-foil? So, we'll have 2x squared tapos negative 8x tapos plus 2x negative 8. And then, we simplify. So, 2x squared, 8x plus 2x is negative 6x minus 8. O, ayan po. Uy, swerte ako. The same. Pero sometimes, ano lang ha, randomly ko lang itong nilagay. Like as in, impromptu. Ngayon ko lang din ito sinusolve. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, if kunwari, hindi, hindi kayo nag-come up with this quadratic equation, pagpalit-palitin nyo lang yung numbers or pagpalit-palitin nyo lang yung sign. Kasi wala namang ibang other way in knowing the, um, knowing the factors na, um, tawag nito, na trial and error yung gagawin nyo talaga. Wala siyang pattern, wala siyang kahit na ano, basta trial and error lang. So, yun. So, since these factors are already correct, eh, di makakasolve na time for the value of x. So, ang value ng x natin ay, we separate this 2 and then equate this 2 in, um, equate it with 0. So, 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we solve for the value of x here first. So, we'll have 2x is equal to negative 2. Divide both sides by 2 so that we can get the value of x as negative 1. And then, for this side, we'll have x is equal to positive 4. So, the value of x is negative 1 and positive, sorry, positive 4. Ganun lang po. Or if you want, pwede nga gumamit ng quadratic formula. Pag quadratic equation yung um, given ninyo. Ano yung quadratic formula? Ang quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of let me erase this one. Square root of, ano yun? B squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, ang gagawin lang natin, ano yung b, yung a, tsaka yung c, yun yung mga, um, tawag nito, numerical coefficients of the, um, numerical coefficients in the given function. Na yung b, ay yung a is the numerical coefficient of x squared, b is the numerical coefficient of x, and c is the constant function. So, substituting the values, we will have, ihatiin natin, negative b, negative, tapos yung b natin, negative 6, plus, minus, square root of, b squared is negative 6, squared minus 4, times a, which is yung 2, tapos yung c na negative 8. So, negative 8. All over 2 times a na 2. Tapos, we simplify. So, we'll have positive 6 plus minus square root of, this is 36, negative 6 squared is 36, Tas negative 4 times 2, negative 8 times negative 8 ay positive 64. All over 4. Sana nakakasunod po. Again, 6 squared, 36. Negative 4 times 2, negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 8, positive 64. Kaya plus 64. Tas 2 times 2, 4. Then, we simplify 6 plus... Uh, minus square root of ano yung 36 plus 64 that is 100 all over 4. Then, 6 plus minus um, square root of 100 is 10. So, we'll have 6 plus minus 10 all over 4. So, if ito, sa 6 plus 10, we'll have 16 divided by 4 is 4. Tapos, yung isa naman 6 minus 10 all over 4. So, 6 minus 10 ay negative 10. Ay, negative 10. Negative 4 divided by 4 ay negative 1. O, ayun. As you can see, we have the same number or a value of x. Either way, na ang gagawin nyo ay magpa-factor or magsasolve using the quadratic formula. So, ibibigay ko po yung option sa inyo. If ever, 
ang matitira natin after simplifying ay quadratic equation. So kung kaya niyo mag-factor, pwede yung factoring. If you can if you you're having a hard time doing the, the doing the factoring, pwedeng mag um, quadratic formula. As you can see, pareho lang naman yung value ng x. Ma'am, pwede kong gawin both? Sige, kung masipag ka. Pero kung tinatamad, isa lang. Pwede doon tayo sa katam katamaran para isa lang ang gagawin natin. Okay? Tama na sa akin ng isa. Hindi ko kailangan ng dalawa. Sarat! <laughs>